Hey there YouTube, I'm John Maida and I'll be talking about the third chapter in How to Speak Machine. It's called Living. Living comes after loops. Stuff happens over and over. You can create essentially large systems but also infinitesimally detailed systems at the same time. It's a little bit unnatural. And the third quality that's super alien, which is very computational, is the ability to create living systems. Now, living systems are sort of weird because they behave like organisms. They react to stimuli. You go, boo, and they run away. Or you talk to them and they talk back to you. This is a kind of paradigm that many artists are super comfortable with because artists can live in the world of not just imagination, but x-ray understanding of things. Let me give you an example. I love how an artist, uh, when they're creating an image, aren't just thinking about the surface qualities, but thinking about the underneath qualities. For instance, if you ever try to draw an apple by just looking at it, you're looking at the surface texture, etc., and you're kind of like, um, you're sort of like focused on like how it looks, but uh, an artist will understand how the apple grows. So if you've ever like chopped an apple in half, uh, not the uh, sideways, but the uh, longitudinal way, you'll see that it has a pentagon shape because the five petals kind of naturally sort of create this um, five-sided, essentially a pentagonal solid. It's an apple. It looks round in some pictures, but look closely, and it's, a, it's got these edges to it. And so an artist understands what's inside. And if you think of all the great paintings in the world, they are about not just the, how the person looks, but they're about how the person is feeling. And so it's an ability to capture emotion, to understand how someone or something is, that is a nature of creating living representations, representations of living things. The idea of making living things or making things lifelike is very familiar to artists. And one thing that computation does, it lets you make living things, like this car is driving by itself, uh, Kind of right now. I'm, I'm, I'm always ready to take over if necessary. But the question of the emotional state of things, of people, of society, an artist is really good at that. Engineers, technologists aren't really good at that. So they tend to not think about making these looping systems that can do expansive things and highly detailed, in some cases, invasive things. So, when you think of living as an aspect of computational systems, think about who is making these systems that are lifelike and will live long beyond our own lifespan. It's kind of a thing, huh? Okay, sun's in my eyes, so I'll tune out. Thanks for tuning in. Thank mm -hmm. you.